so so I guess it's a great intersection now to start talking about sustainability. So if if you're building from the ground up, what role does sustainability have to play in uh, in creating that that ecosystem and environment? It's key. And I would say that sustainability has loomed large in my life. Um, I come from a winter sport background. So because of that, sustainability, sustainability has always been present in my world, including when I joined the Olympic movement. There are some really crystal clear facts that resonate amongst winter sport athletes. There was a piece of work done, academic research that was done in 2019 that said that of the 21 host winter cities, only 13 of the Olympic Winter Games would ever be able to host the Winter Games again by 2050 due to climate change. And it's those facts that make you realize the impact of sustainability. It goes beyond reducing plastic bottles at sporting events. It really should look across those three themes of the social impact, the economic impact, and the financial impact of sustainability. I think for me, global sport and major events have a large role to play. One, because they have a unique position to be advocates. They also have an incredible role in lobbying governments and those who can make monumental decisions. And if we look at something like Paris 2024 is a perfect example. They are already conducting numerous studies on air pollution for the games that will happen there in 24. They're looking at the high temperatures. They're considering water, water scarcity and the responsibility that they have as an organizing community to ensure that they live by the sustainable objectives of the Olympic movement. The Commonwealth Games is exactly the same. I know that Birmingham, I was very fortunate to have been asked to sit on the independent review panel for government looking at the bid and Birmingham is committed to having a carbon neutral games in 2022, which is incredible considering where we find ourselves in climate change at the moment. It, so something as significant as, as say the Olympics, it's, it's purpose. Um, it was not originally, it uh, wasn't designed around sustainability. So in your experience, how do you bring that to life? How do you, how do you infuse the, the urgency and the requirement there into such an iconic uh, institution? Thank you. It's a really interesting question because I might say that actually the genesis of the Olympic Games did come from a different form of sustainability, and it was societal sustainability. If we look back on the catalyst of the Olympic Games, it was around getting French young men terribly active and making them a bit more committed to their own physical activity. So whilst it may not have been the primary reason and we find ourselves looking at the Olympic Games as the pinnacle of high performance sport, when you hold that role globally, when you have that privilege of being that advocate, it comes with it a very large form of responsibility and that has to be to address global challenges. And as we all know, sustainability is at the heart of that, not just environmental sustainability, but full stop across all the mediums that I referred to earlier. So I think it, as far back as Sydney 2000, I remember, I mean, obviously I was terribly young then, but in Sydney 2000, it, I saw that book, Your Highness. Oh. <laughs> yeah. In 2000, I remember being in awe of how clean they were as a games and how much pride the Australians took in being declared the cleanest games because that was important to them. And I remember in 1994, Lilyhammer investing in an extraordinary amount of effort into a, ensuring that all of us ate off edible plates and knives and forks, which the taste was up to the individual involved, shall we say. But it was, it was an, a marvelous effort by the Norwegians to demonstrate commitment, even at that early stage. London 2012, as we all know, um, for those of us on the call and had the privilege to be involved, were the ones who created the ISO for sustainable management of events. So I think when you recognize the platform you have as the International Olympic Movement or indeed the Commonwealth Games Movement, you have an ability to truly affect sustainability in a positive way. And I would say probably a more creative way than what governments end up having to do because of the restrictions that are around them and the way that they must behave. 